Today, it's evolved into a booming metropolis. From its super skyscrapers that have appeared overnight to world-renowned cuisine, I dive headfirst into a city that's caught between its past and present. Join me, David Wu, as I explore China. Fast forward. Guangzhou, one of the most prosperous cities in China. It has been a major trading post with Southeast Asia and the Middle East for centuries. My journey begins in the third largest city in China. Just a hundred years ago, junk boats laden with tea and silk once roamed this waterfront. I make my way to Beijing Road, where Guangzhou has preserved its original trade street. Jinglun Guild, Jinglun Huiguan, here in Guangzhou, China. And this is the place where all the silk traders used to come and do this stuff back in the Qing Dynasty. It symbolizes trade in Guangzhou and a living testimony to capitalism here in China. Guangzhou is famous for selling precious stones that draw visitors from around the world. We're walking on the Hualin J Street, Hualin Yu Qi Jie. It is one of the oldest and biggest J markets in all of China. In fact, it started back in the Qing Dynasty, and during the Cultural Revolution, it shut down for a brief moment. But as you can see now, it is hustling and bustling. The jade market started in the alleyways like this, with craftsmen carving their own pieces and selling them on the streets. So, you, you with so many stores and designs, the stones here are simply irresistible. Come on, bargain, man. Cheaper, cheaper, man. While most jade designs here are still quite traditional, some upscale boutiques are becoming trendier. I pay a visit to Miss Yen at the Wailun Jewelry Store. It's one of the few places known for its designer jade pieces. <laughs> No longer seen as old fashioned, these jade accessories are attracting a new breed of younger buyers. This is very nice. Uh -huh. But behind Guo 